Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you a quick talk through of how to make a block diagram using Adobe Illustrator. So first things first, you'll need to use a perspective grid tool, which is the one I'm clicking on here. That gives you like a nice framework which you can use and edit in order to make the different type of uh, block you would like to use. So see here, I'm now adjusting it to the right kind of thickness and dimensions that I wish to use. So by dragging in the edges, you can make it narrower, you can also um, make it thicker, and uh, you can really just adjust it to what you would like and it gives you a nice framework to be able to use. Okay, so once you've chosen your dimensions of block, I would then use the pen tool to trace over that grid perspective tool and that gives you the nice framework. So using the straight edges provided by the pen tool. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed up the video a little bit now, but what the important thing is, when you're tracing out your shape, you want each side, so the left, the right, and the top, to be individual shapes, so that later, when you're coloring them in, you don't have issues. So see here, I am just making that one panel, that one side, its own individual shape, and then I'm going to make the top here its own individual shape. Okay, and then you can see that I'm now tracing over the top. I'm looking for which lines I need to use in order to make my, um, my block the right dimensions. Uh, and then you can see I'm now trying to make that top its own closed shape as well, instead of two lines. Um, and once I've done that, I can start filling in my base colours, and that's you've got your initial foundations of a block diagram. Okay, so I know that this is a bit of a jump, but I just wanted to show you what you could ultimately produce by using this block diagram tool. So here I've got three different diagrams showing different types of volcanic vents. Um, and you can see that I have um, tried to align the top surface so that it also has the same kind of point of view um, as the block diagram is showing. I'm also showing you here the different types of lines you might be able to use. So for instance, I've used the kind of shaded one to look like smoke, as well as this kind of splashing paint one to look like a erupting fountain of lava. Um, and I've also, where, um, where I've got lines in the lava flows, I've put them to taper out at the ends, just to give it a bit of an effect. So this is maybe not something that you necessarily need to do. I just wanted to show you that it is possible using Adobe Illustrator to make diagrams like this. Okay, and finally, um, I've had a few people ask me how to get rid of the Perspective Grid tool. So you need to click on the Perspective Grid tool first, then click on the little icon at the top left there that I just clicked uh, to delete it and hide it. Okay, well I hope this helped and thank you very much for watching.